Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here in YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make a Viking shield out of foam board or cardboard. Easy project, fun to do. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, for this project, you don't need a whole lot. Four sheets of foam board, or if you have cardboard, you can go with that and a bowl and some glue and some paint, that's, that's it. So take two sheets like this, and we want this shield to be big. So take two sheets of your foam board, lay them side by side, and put a couple of pieces of tape on them to keep them together. And this is, I'm assuming you're using the standard 20 by 30 foam board. Uh, make adjustments as needed if you're, if you're using a different size. But then mark the center, which in my case here is 15 inches from either end, top or bottom. Then put some kind of a pin of a nail in that center there. And then make yourself a nice little compass here so we can draw our circle nicely. And this is 16 inches long and the marks there are 14 inches apart, which gives us a little bit of leeway. Uh, the, so the shield ends up to be 28 inches, but you know, so adjust this as needed. But put, a, put a holes in those points there, 14 inches apart. And now you can easily use that on the nail to draw yourself a nice, clean, neat circle. There you go. There's our shield. So now do this twice because we want to actually make a look kind of like a little laminate. We're going to do two layers of the shield to make it stronger and hold it all together. So you do the, you copy, you do the same process again with another set of um, foam board or cardboard. There we go. Grab your handy X-Acto knife and cut those pieces out. Now cutting foam board is easy if you make three passes. Don't try to cut all the way through with one p pass. It usually tears the foam in the middle. But there you go. I like it. So now let's glue them together. And of course make them perpendicular so they'll be strong. So the two orange slices there you see here are going are side by side. The next two orange slices we put on are one above the other. So north and south and east and west. Glue them on. I'm using hot glue. You can use any kind of glue you want. And we're actually going to do a couple more things just in the design of this shield to strengthen it even more. But it's, it's pretty strong just like this. You know, that's one of the things I like about foam board. It's, it's got some strength to it. So find yourself a bowl, a nice round bowl that you like. I tried a couple of different ones. I was trying to think, hmm, what size do I want? I like the larger one there to make the boss on that shield. So put it in the center and trace it out. and then cut that hole out, leaving about a quarter inch smaller than the actual line, than the actual circle, so you have some surface you can glue the bowl to. And my Roman scutum tutorial, you can actually make a paper mache boss if you wanted. If you don't want to use the bowl, you can use the bowl to make the boss out of paper mache or out of, um, you, know, you know, a plastic cloth or something. So let's make the handle. I made a template that goes all the way across the shield from one end to the other, then it's reduced a little bit of the set the way your hand is going to go. And then use that template to trace out two on your foam board. And cut those out. and then glue them across the shield, one right on top of the other. And you can see now how that's going to be a handle that you can grasp. You know, and you can adjust the thickness of that, but try to keep it reasonably thick for strength.
Okay, now let's put uh, banding, iron banding, although it ends up to be gold for us, around the outside edge of the shield. So grab your scraps of um, foam board and trace them like this to make a one inch band all the way around the edge. I'll show you. So I have my tracing, so now I'm drawing, making marks one inch from that line and then hand drawing it out. And you can probably do this in two pieces. One piece goes halfway around the shield and the other piece goes the rest of the way. So draw that out, cut it out, and then glue it on your shield. Just like this. Now let me know if you want me to do another Viking project. I'll leave a comment. Um, you know, I'm thinking about doing like a, maybe a foam board Viking axe would be fun. So there you go. So now let's glue on our boss, which is our bowl. And that's that. The shield is officially built. So now let's paint it. And I masked it off with, um, you know, painter's tape, and then just went for a simple design here, red and white. And uh, you can look up Viking shields, and there's all kinds of really wonderful designs. You could do, well, you could do anything you really wanted to, and have some fun, creative fun with this, maybe, you know, um, and if you're making this project, just be sure to send me a picture. I will send you a certificate of contribution, and I will put the picture on my website. So there you go. And then I made another mask to paint the bowl, the bo boss, and I painted that gold. And then we finish it off by painting the iron banding around the edge of the shield. Same thing, I did gold. Um, lots more stuff coming. Um, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. You know, I have, I'm getting, must be getting close to 800 videos now. I do two new videos every week. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, there we go. So let's take a look at the completed shield. There we go. Very nice. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.